Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is the moment of your press review. The great zoom of the political, economic, social and cultural news of Africa on your television Africa TV. Africa seen differently. In the lead up to our review, let's go to Cameroon. The Minister of Sports and Physical Education slips to the hot potato to the tax force. The daily newspaper is Singan is convinced about the overbilling of tough works in Garwa. The newspaper specifies that through based reports to the President of the Republic, Mr. Kombi Muele, wants to obtain validation of the allocation of subcontracting to the French Grigori, whose invoice generates a cost increase of 800 million francs CFA on a service estimate at 200 million francs CFA. Tax. How users misuse the car stamp. That's what the daily life of l'économie reveals to us this morning. The newspaper states that since the 1st of January 2017, this right has been collected at the time of subscription or renewal of the civil liability insurance policy within a company. But not everything happens legally. Mutation draws attention to the currency crisis. The mercury rises, according to the newspaper, after the concerns expressed by Cameroonian bosses, the Bank of Central African States relativized the shortage and reaffirmed that there will be no devaluation of the franc CFA. The, anal an the analysis of Celestin Bedzigi to read on page 9 and 10 of your newspaper on newsstands. The Cameroonian government daily newspaper is on the front page of today's emergency humanitarian assistance. In all synergy, the Prime Minister, Head of Government, Joseph John Gute, chaired yesterday a meeting bringing together the government and its international partners to better conduct operations in favor of the needy populations on the ground. The next step is to read on page 2 and of your newspaper. African News, present in Cameroon, informs us that Douala Single Stock Exchange of Central Africa. The newspaper also reveals that Douala, Cameroon is now home to the Central African Securities Exchange. The objective of the Central African Economic and Monetary Community's single financial market is to increase the budgetary revenues of the countries of the sub-region throughout greater diversification of the sources of financing for states and enterprises. We are moving from the West African. In Ivory Coast, daily newspaper Fraternité Matin headlines this morning that there will be an urban pack of 96 billion francs CFA in place of the land file. The newspaper reports that Prime Minister Amadou Ngon Koulibaly closed down the vast public dump in Abidjan yesterday. We remain in Ivory Coast. The, the Ivorian daily newspaper La Gazette reports that experts and industrialists from Ghana and Ivory Coast adopt a new pricing mechanism for cocoa on Wednesday in Abidjan. This new mechanism established an amount of $400 per ton to guarantee the floor price to producers. The president of the National Agricultural Union for the Progress of Africa, Moussa Kone, said it. In Senegal, the daily Le Soleil published that yesterday, the Caliph General of Mourid, Serin Mutaka Basiru Bake, took a fatwa to ban in the religious city, gambling, dancing, any entertainment show prohibited by Islam. A, superv a supervisory committee, which will work closely with the public authorities, will ensure that severe sanctions are applied to those who venture to violate the fatah. 
In Nigeria, the Daily Trust stated that imports and low prices are hurting maize producers. According to experts, the current market prices cannot support productions. According to Daily Trust surveys, the crisis threatens the maize production chain as local farmers struggle with the continued fall in commodity prices in the country's markets. We remain in Nigeria with the daily life the punch, titled the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Alaji Atuku Abubakar, opened Thursday trial before the petitions tribunal for the presidential election in Abuja by presenting the results of the election in Niger and Yobe State. The newspaper stated that Atiku and his party had filed a petition in court challenging the victory of President Muhammadu Buhari and his all-progressive party in the election of 23 February 2019. In South Africa, forced to live without toilet, titled the daily newspaper Sowetan, resident of a rural community had to go into the bushes and use buckets to relieve themselves after the portable toilet they had been using for five years were suddenly removed from the house. Always in South Africa, Business Day informs us that Reserve Bank aims to sell the participation of the African Development Bank. The newspaper specifies that Deputy Governor Coburn Nedo of SA Reserve Bank wants to sell his stake in African Bank in a year or two. Approaching the leaders returned to private property after being saved from collapse by a wave of unpaid consumer loans. In Angola, one of the executive board's main lines of actions has been the implementation of programs to increase employability levels, reverse Le Journal d'Angola. The governor said that recently published data from the National Statistics Institute indicated that 28.5% of the Angolan population was unemployed. The Secretary of State assured that the plan will reduce the, the unemployment rate, fight poverty and vulnerability, and as a result, there will be gains in the economy. We remain in Angola. The fish, after all, does not die only by mouth, reversed the daily newspaper Economia and Financia. The newspaper specified that although the last advisory council of the Ministry of Fisheries made a positive assessment of the sector's actions. The truth is that fish is scarce, expensive and almost gold on the market because there are boats that are not made at sea. Allegedly because they are not licensed. Fishing uh, entrepreneurs have been encouraged to engage in aquaculture, aquaculture in order to increase their production and achieve the objective set by the executive. In Zimbabwe, the ERAL informed us that the World Bank improves Zimbabwe's status. The newspaper stated that the World Bank has transformed Zimbabwe from a low-income economy to a lower-middle-income economy, which represents a positive change that goes hand-in-hand hand with President Nangagwa's vision to transform Zimbabwe into an upper-middle-income economy by 2030. Let's release this press panorama in Algeria and fencing. Independent personality will lead the dialogue, is what the Algerian daily newspaper El Vatan reveals. The head of state offers guarantees for the presidential election. The newspaper specifies that participants in the dialogue will be free to discuss and debate 
the conditions necessary to ensure the credibility of the election and to address all legislative, regulatory, and organizational aspects of the election, including the conduct of the election of the electoral calendar. Thank you for following us. Thank you for your loyalty. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Goodbye.